For those who may not be familiar with Valve, they are a PC game developer studio who launched their own storefront that they call Steam. They've been working on something called Proton that has allowed games developed for Windows to run almost identically performance-wise on Linux as they do natively on Windows. When the company launched its new VR headset, we learned that it was capable of running the same Android APKs that developers already use to bring their apps to Android-based smartphones and VR headsets, like the MetaQuest. And this was big news within the Android community because it was when we learned that the company was officially working on getting Android apps supported on Linux. There's actually a new report out today that tells us this project is called Leptin. And not only that, we've learned that it's actually a fork of Wadroid. Similarly to how Proton is a fork of Wine, Leptin is a fork of Wadroid. And Wadroid was launched in 2020 as a customized version of Lineage OS that enables Android apps to run alongside Linux apps. It was built for desktops and mobile devices, but the project has now been forked by Valve so they can advance the new project in a different direction. And that new direction seems to be a way for Valve to let Android applications run in a Linux container, which would be a great way to get some classic Android games playable on the Steam Deck, a Steam Machine, or just Steam OS in general. Now, details about this project are scarce right now, as we currently only know the name of the project, the logo they chose to go with, and the motivation behind it. We can see how Valve took inspiration when they uploaded their Leptin logo. So it's going to be interesting to see how Leptin evolves as it breaks away from Wadroid more and more. I know there are lots of single player game loft games that the mobile gaming community misses. So offering a way to get these old games up and running could go a long way to improving Android's mobile game preservation efforts. Because Google seems to love updating Android with security features that causes old games to no longer be compatible with the current version of the operating system. But I would love to hear what you think about this news. So please use the comments section down below to share your thoughts. And don't forget to give this video a like as it really helps the channel out and share a link for this video on your favorite social media platforms.